Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a new piece of type um, and this is going to be in a new style which is very 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 smooth and uh, quite bubbly and more probably cartoon like than my usual uh, urban graphic design look. So if you like what this looks like in the bottom right hand corner, uh, you found the right video basically. But we're going to go through this uh, text piece first in Illustrator. This is drawn straight from Procreate, which you would have seen uh, probably a bit of snippet now. And um, basically what that was done is just uh, sketch through and as quick as I can and not much thought put into it. And I've then grabbed everything in separate layers and export it as a PSD and then imported it into Illustrator and um, basically yeah I've also um, created outlines of each piece of text so these are all separate now and to create outlines you click the piece of text and then click create outlines which will show down in the quick actions and uh, yeah we don't want to take up too much time we're going to try and speed through this as quick as possible so just to reiterate basically all of these are in separate um, separate objects which is perfect because we are basically going to reorganize all of this in terms of how they sit together how they communicate with each other and um, yeah that's going to be really important to get that overall bubbly um, bubbly feel right so okay so we all have these uh, now what we're going to do is go to file we're going to go to export and we're going to export as and then you need to export it and save it somewhere very safe as an svg um, and once that's sorted uh, you can then boot up Blender. Okay, so we are in Blender. I have deleted everything in the scene. I've deleted the cube, I've deleted the light, I've deleted the camera. And what I've basically done to get this uh, graphic that I've just took from Illustrator through is I've gone to File, then I've gone to Import, and then I've gone to SVG, Scalable Vector Graphics. I then found the SVG, which was saved in my files, and this will come through as a small piece of type. And these are basically curves which we're uh, going to work with and then we're going to convert them to objects but I'm going to go as quick as I can to save your guys time. So I'm going to grab everything by selecting everything uh, with the selection tool and I'm then going to press S on the keyboard and I'm going to scale it I'm going to drag outwards. And then going to have a look at the text and everything's looking pretty good, everything's come through, there's no glitches, no problems with the uh, curves which is perfect. Um, if you do have problems with the curves make sure you check all of the um, little pieces here. Sometimes if you rotate these, these will fix your mesh. So um, there might be a way to get around that. But uh, yeah, if you do have any problems, let me know in the comments below and I hopefully might be able to help you. Okay, so as we know, we're gonna be doing something a bit different than my usual tutorials. We're gonna be working on each individual letter and we're not gonna be grouping them. Um, so the first letter we're gonna work on is we will work on the V. Um, we're going to go to the curve section which is found on the uh, down here object uh, object properties and then we're going to go down to uh, geometry and we're going to click extrude little arrow a couple times now this is all in your interpretation i'm going to vary it throughout all of them so i'm going to click this one i'm going to up this by one i'm going to click this one up this by two i'm going to click this one up this by two click this one up this by one one maybe two on this one, maybe two on this one, and then this is gonna be smaller, so it's just a one. So it's quite an interesting variation of, of heights, and we are going to grab all these and we're gonna group uh, these for now, and I'm just gonna up them by one. Okay, so that's looking great, and what I need to do now is I need to um, convert all these to meshes, and I'm just gonna do this one, and then I'm gonna skip the video and uh, show you what it looks like once these are all done but we'll do it to this and this needs to be applied to all of them so we are going to go to object we're going to go to convert to mesh we're then going to click the modify section we're going to click add modifier and we're going to click remesh and now i have to reiterate this i like you have to listen to me guys you need to be very very careful with this slider uh, this will blow your computer a big explosion so uh, use the voxel size very very carefully slowly decrease it slowly decrease it my mark of where I need to stop decreasing it is about uh, 0 0.0005 so I'm gonna leave it around there so any more will crash the blender so I'm gonna then apply that modifier and that as you can see now made it into a pretty mesh 
uh, which we can now go and sculpt. And I'm going to skip the video here and you need to make sure that's done to all of your other pieces of text, including everything, that including the dot, etc. Um, so yeah, go do that now. Okay guys, uh, theoretically this is all done, everything has been applied, we've applied all the remeshes, we've converted it all to mesh and we're also going to make sure that the origin point is set to each of the letters. So we're going to click the V again for the example, we're going to click object, we're going to go set origin and origin to geometry and as you can see now the origin is set to the middle. And uh, now we're going to go into sculpt mode, so we're going to grab everything, we're going to rotate it by 90 degrees on the, so I'll actually do that again for you, RZ90, RX90, and if I press 3, I've decided to stand it up like this, this is not right. I'm going to then keep working around that. <laughs> uh, come on, come on, there we go. No, 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 there we go professional like right okay so we now got it on the front axis and we're going to go to object we're going to go to sculpt and we are now being able to uh, if I actually just select the object mode I'm going to select this one I'm going to then go to sculpt mode and I'm going to grab this smooth tool I'm going to set the radius to about 200 and the strength to leave at 0 0.7 and what I'm going to do I'm basically just going to almost like massage right into this mesh until I feel like it's right so I'm looking to smooth out as much as possible now this is a really important part to spend a lot of time you should be really um, really really delicate and uh, uh, wanting to make this look really good because this is the most important part the, mo the longer you spend on this the better the outcome is right so we're just going to make sure there's loads of nice nice smooth lines even here that you can see that it's coming out slightly we'll make sure that's right and for the vi terms of this video I'm going to call that there but I recommend spending a lot more time on just smoothing this out. We're also going to use the elastic deform uh, uh, tool, uh, no we're not, we're going to use the grab tool and we are going to uh, leave the radius there and put the strength to about 0.5 and what it allows me to do is then grab, I'm going to actually up the radius, grab the mesh and morph it around the other shapes so I'm paying close uh, attention on how this line works to make sure that when we put these all together it's going to feel really uh, really like close up together right um, so yeah I'm going to skip this video ahead and then we're going to show what has happened when all the letters have been sculpted and um, and yeah and basically like merged together in the way that they should be so we'll skip that right now okay we are back and this is what it's looking like pretty cool pretty spaced out we've got some real smooth lines going on and i've also what i've done is i have removed the material which came across with um the um from illustrator which was just a black and i've just put on a metallic uh, chrome purple um so to make this material i have clicked um I've clicked new like this. I am then going to go down to where it says metallic and set that to one. I'm going to put the roughness on about 0.1 uh, about there. Uh, okay, so I'll just make sure that these are all the same. So I'm going to link the materials to do that. I'm just clicking this one, clicking the one that I want it to apply that material to. Click Control L and then link materials, and that will be the same. Um, and yeah so what we're going to do now is we're going to work on uh, squashing these all together so because we've been working on separate origins and separate meshes it allows me to then start to rotate and put stuff together uh, in a way that I think would work and make it feel like they are a, a group object right so I'm going to skip forward and I will show you the next step and how that process went uh, just straight out of this quick switch Okay, we're back and this is what I went with. I went for stomach that's really crushed in together and you can see that it almost gives the impression that it's been bubbled up and this is what we are going for. So we're just gonna quickly now set up the lighting and the HDRI and uh, yes, yeah, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to click on here. I'm gonna to go to environment texture. I'm gonna click open and I'm not gonna show this but I'm going to install a HDRI of my choice and in terms of render settings I'm going to be working in cycles and the device I'm going to use obviously my GPU I'm going to go to film and make sure that I'm set to transparent so we can export as a transparent uh, PNG 
and we're going to set the compression to zero. And uh, yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, show that in just a second when I switch everything around. Okay, we're back and what I've gone with instead of the purple material, I've just gone for like a uh, pearly white. And this is just made with the base color and I've just set the metallic to zero and just lowered the roughness also to zero. And with this HDRI, which is called um, Sunset JHB Central um, 4K, this can be found on HDRI on Polyhaven or HDRI Haven. Um, I'll drop a link in the, um, in the bio, in the bio. And uh, yeah, this is what it's looking like. So I'm basically going to uh, render this out. I'm just going to check the uh, size of my camera. I'm going to press, actually we need to make a camera. So we're going to press shift A. We're going to go to camera. We're going to press N and go to view, camera to viewport zero. I'm just going to zoom out. I'm just going to compose it to something that I want it to look like. So we will go for something like this. It's kind of fun. Everything's in shot. And I'm just going to go to render, render image. And there we go. That is how you make this piece of work um, as quick as possible. Um, feel free to let me know what you got up to in the in the uh, in the comments below. And also, I have to shout out my uh, Discord channel. Uh, if you do also want to share your content on there and you want to share your work with other creatives that are interested in this design, uh, feel free to join our Discord community, which can also be found in the description below. Um, but that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, this video helped you out, and I will catch you all in the next video, which will be tomorrow because I'm now da uploading daily. So uh, yeah, stick.